Dr. Virgil Troy and this is week five, day 31 of the Barley Man Gladiator Diet. And uh, it's exactly one calendar month today, 31 days, since I started this experiment to see what would happen as a result of eating the way the roaming gladiators did. And I based it on this particular article here. So here's the paper that I basically um, uh, read. And I'll just read you the, uh, the headline. It says, gladiator diets were carb heavy, fattening, and mostly vegetarian. And uh, one of the hypotheses that was uh, came out of this particular paper, and I'll just read it for you. It's this bit here in yellow. It says, according to archaeological research, their abdominals and pectorials were likely covered in a quivering layer of subcutaneous fat. Why? The evidence suggests gladiators carb-loaded, and of course, carbohydrates make you fat. Um, they ate a diet high in carbohydrates, which is obviously why they were fat, uh, such as barley and beans, and of course, that stuff makes you fat and low in animal products. Their meals look nothing like the paleo or meat and fish centric diets now associated with elite warriors and athletes. So the conclusion, the hypothesis, the, the statement in here said that because they carb loaded, they were obviously fat. And I just didn't believe that. So I thought, well, okay, um, put your money where your mouth is, put some skin in the game, have a go and give it a go for six weeks and see what happens as a result of eating a diet predominantly um, of barley, beans, um, squash and uh, other fruits that were readily available um, and foods that were readily available at that particular time based on uh, various sources that I could find from the, uh, the research and the literature. Um, so today, although a couple of days ago I reported on, like, I think it was about 6.3 kilo um, loss, as of today, that is uh, four weeks and two days, so it's Wednesday, uh, so we're looking at 31 days, I have now lost 7.3 kilos. In the last two days, I've gone down another kilogram in weight. So I started off at 92.3, which wasn't at my highest. At one stage many years ago, I was sitting up at around 125 kgs, eating the Western diet. Um, but when I started this, I was uh, 92.3, and I've now gone down to 85 kilos. My ideal weight that I'm targeting is around 79 kilos. So that's 7.3 kgs in just one calendar month and personally I am just one I'm ecstatic because it's a fantastic result but two I almost can't believe it myself and I've been keeping daily records uh, using very reliable scales on a, on, a, on a daily basis every single morning at exactly the same time after the same routine and I actually have to have a look at that every single day to see is it actually true well it is actually true now many years ago well, many years ago two years ago um, I did actually get my weight down to around about this level. Uh, and I was eating predominantly a whole food plant-based diet. And I was trying to think now, what are the differences between what I've done now in the last uh, you know, four and a half weeks and what I did a couple of years ago that got me down there? So a couple of years ago, it was very, very similar. However, one of the things I was doing was I was eating a lot more dried fruit. Um, and I was also eating quite a lot of um, you know, nuts and seeds. And I was eating a lot of that. But the other thing too was that I was doing an awful lot of cardio. And when I talk about cardio, I'm talking about high intensity interval sets that have you almost throwing up at the end of it because of the level of intensity just to basically get the fitness up to where I needed it to be um, a couple of years ago for an event that I was uh, traveling overseas to take part in. And, um, you know, it would be, it was really, really hard. I mean, the, the exercise and the training was very, very intense. And we're talking like a six month period. Whereas this time, what I've done is I've uh, not eaten dried fruit. In fact, I just eat normal fruit. Um, I have not had much at all in terms of um, seeds or nuts. Uh, just a small amount of tahini when I'm making uh, hummus, which is predominantly chickpeas and it's all oil free. Um, and I've been doing a lot less exercise. I have not really done the high intensity interval sets on a regular basis that I was doing two years ago to get down to this level. So it's actually been an awful lot easier. And the one thing that has changed is the composition of the food that I'm eating. I am on a high carbohydrate, very low and moderate level of protein um, uh, diet. So anywhere between 80 to 85% of my calories come from carbohydrates. And it comes from grains, it comes from squash, it comes from potatoes, it comes from beans. 
um, and, uh, and, and, and other legumes. And it's really delicious and I enjoy what I eat and I have plenty of energy to get everything done. And if I'm hungry, I'll just eat a piece of fruit. So I'm sold on this. It's not hard, and if you're looking to make a change, uh, this is definitely something that I personally would recommend. Still got a couple of weeks, and then after that, I'm going to take a, a new tact uh, by staying on this particular eating routine, but I'm going to add some additional things in there to see if perhaps it can actually give me the very high level of uh, performance that I want physically um, by continuing to eat this way. That'll be the next experiment. But still, we've still got a couple of weeks to go. Oh, you never know. I might suddenly bump up and wait again. I very much doubt it. I think I'm going to get a lot closer to my goal weight. So I'll leave you uh, now with a couple of images of uh, what I ate over the last sort of 24 hours and I'll report it again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.